In this lesson, you'll learn how to use client accounts. Client accounts can be used for both store credit and debit. A common use is when the client will put money onto their account as a booking deposit and will later use that money to pay for a service or product. Another way accounts can be used is when you allow a client to put the money they owe onto their account to pay at a later date. First I'll show you how to give the client store credit through processing a deposit. In this example, a client would like to book a service that requires a $50 deposit, so she's going to pay the deposit over the phone today. In the point of sale, click on the client's icon and select the client. And now we can see the client's name at the top of the screen. Now we'll click on a sale line and select account. And the price currently says $0, so I'll click on that and change it to the $50 amount she's going to prepay. Select the payment type. In this case, Rachel's going to pay using her Visa card. And then we'll press End Sale. Now when we go into the client list, we can see a little green book icon next to Rachel's name. And we can see on the client dashboard that her account is $50 in credit. When the client is next brought into the point of sale, we can see at the top of the screen the green book icon and the amount of credit in her account. To use that credit in this transaction, we'll select account as our payment type. It's defaulted to the full amount, but she only has $50 of credit to use, so we'll type in 50, and we can see that the outstanding amount is now $100 instead of 150. She's going to pay the remaining $100 in cash, and then we'll press end sale. Now I'll show you how to use accounts the opposite way, which is when the client owes money to the business and will pay off the debt later. So we'll check out a client and select account as the payment type and complete the sale. Now when I view this client in the client list, he has a red book next to his name and on the client dashboard it says that there is a $30 outstanding amount on his account. At some point in future when Peter is ready to pay off his account at the point of sale, we'll click on an empty sale line, select account, and the $30 amount that he owes will be automatically entered. Then we just need to enter the payment type he's using, press done, and press end sale. And Peter has now paid off his account. Now you know how to use client accounts, you can use this feature to keep track of your clients' store credits and debits. 